Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here and today we will be testing timer resolution and just seeing does it actually work and increase your FPS? Now, timer resolution is something that I feel like is very heavily debated in terms of like people with FPS. Some people say it helps, some people says it doesn't. Kind of just depends. Now, there's actually a lot of different forms of timer resolution. The best known one is ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is not only for timer resolution, this also frees your RAM. So typically I think, when I first think of this, if you have like 16 gigabytes of RAM, typically you really don't even need this either. Um, and then there's also a different one, timer resolution service. I'll leave a link down below to both of these, but it's just, there's, a, there's different ways. So. I tested multiple games, 1080p low settings on my rig, the 12700K, 6900XT, fully tuned everything. Um, so the games I tested were CSGO. By the way, this is my last time testing CSGO. It's basically useless. Warzone, Fortnite, and then Apex Legends. That sounds about it. If I'm missing a game, I'll... Put it down but now let's just go to the benchmarks benchmarks are using cat frame x to record so let's get into them all right so i'm here on the desktop so just to make sure that we do a run through because i think i forgot valorant so apex legends modern warfare so warzone fortnite and valorant so let me just say this i ran three three of each and then i aggregated them so that i got the average that's how i tested them and that's how we're going to be comparing them the first thing we're going to start off though is csgo so here's the stock results for you guys average fps 833 with a min so you can see um i don't actually care about this let's just go right to where the results are so stock so first of all this is why i don't like this benchmark they're all basically the same like oh you're getting three fps by using intelligent standby list cleaner but with set time resolution, you're getting 40 more FPS so on the max. So it just this is so variable. But at the same time, it just doesn't matter when the FPS is as high. So there's CSGO. The first game we're actually going to look at is Apex Legends. Now, Apex Legends has a 300 FPS cap, if you guys know. So we will not actually be looking at the at the actual like FPS averages. We'll be looking at the minimum. So... I'm just going to set metrics to um, our group. So sort by the second metric. That's just the 1% percentile FPS. So the actual highest is ISLC, but literally 0.3 FPS behind it is stock. And then slightly lower is set time resolution service. ISLC does win on Apex Legends, actually. So if you're playing this game and you want three more FPS in the lows, just use ISLC. So... This game basically doesn't really matter. Obviously, so this is also in the training match. So in an actual game, maybe there will be a little more variance. The 1% might actually matter a little more. And yep, just 1%. That's all you're really getting. So now let's go on to Warzone. I did Warzone actually in downtown. I just ran a little, ran near that big building kind of. And I just ran past it three loops. So set time resolution service wins. So as you can see, higher lows significantly, especially in the 0 0.2 percentile FPS, which is a lot better. Now let's see, can I make this 0 0.1 percent? Okay. And that actually changes it. But at the same time, 0 0.2 is still a really big value. I'm going to recommend that even though, oh no, you're losing one FPS in your averages, your minimums increase significantly. So set time resolution service has another win for you guys fortnite this is on that benchmark map that i've used before so let's just go to fortnite and what wins this time so what actually is stock so uh, let's go back to 0 0.2 because i think that's actually what it measured in so there might be a bug i don't know so stock is actually winning but as you can see the 0 0.2 percentiles are a lot high or slightly higher they are three percent higher so uh, you know, Fortnite also, this is a very, very optimized game. This was in DirectX 12. I actually will have a Fortnite game booster coming out very soon. So hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're interested in that. 
But now let's go on to Valorant. This is a new addition, actually. So I went to the shooting range part, and I just ran around there in a circle. And as you can see, FPS, the average FPS is insanely high in this game. But you want to care about the 1% lows. So on this, ISLC wins um, slightly September resolution service. So it's pretty, like pretty different so depending on the game you played whichever one you played here i'm actually going to show you guys how to properly set these up now all right so if you go to the website for intelligence down by list cleaner once again it's down below this is what you'll need to do so just download it here and then you're going to go to your desktop islc hit extract then you're going to find this folder here i'm going to open it so open this now wherever you have this it, you can't delete it because this actually will run on startup so what you'll do is you want to launch ISLC on user startup, start it minimized and auto starting. So the list size, just keep that at default. So this is just about, this is a gig on the standby list and then free memory. So just go to your task manager, memory, divide whatever memory you have. So I have 32 gigabytes. So if you go to your calculators, so you're going to divide that by two and multiply by 1024 just to get the correct gigabytes. So 16 times 1024 is I believe 16384. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM in total, it'll be 8192. That's eight gigabytes. So for me, since I have 32 gigabytes, I'll do 16384. And then I'll hit start. Now, this is actually not where you want it to be. So hit stop again. Enable custom time resolution. Just do 0 0.5. So type in 0 0.5, hit start. And then there you go. One thing I will recommend though, I still see polling rate do 250 this will just not allow it to pull as much so it won't be using as many cpu cycles that'll help a little bit so m then you can minimize this if you are having issues though and it's like we're popping up a weird error go to windows key and r run cmd run lodctr slash r i believe let's check it's actually on the website so lodctr slash r and then you'll have to reboot and then so oh lodctr slash r this is going to rebuild your performance counters and then sometimes you actually will need to run it again if it'll be like there's no um pre rebuilt performance counters so just do that now we're going to use my preferred method um which is actually set time resolution service so download it from the website i like to download the first version the reason i don't like the second version is because you can like specify stuff. Just let it go under all of Windows actually. So what you'll need to do is just once you install it. So you're going to want to double click wherever you install it. At. I'd actually recommend throwing into the C drive. That's where I threw mine right here. As you can see, set time resolution service. So you'll need to copy this, this, um, this folder location. Then you're going to want to go back to CMD. So hit CMD again. Now you want to hit C D space and then paste that address. This will throw you into the folder so that you can actually install this service. Now, it's actually in the readme as well where you need to, what the thing is. So set time resolution service session install, just hit enter. And now it will be like registers in the control base. Now it automatically saw it there. So what you'll need to do actually is now you're gonna wanna go to services.msc, click here and just type in SE, there's S, Scroll down to you find set time resolution service. I found it. Now it'll be right here as you can see. So what you'll need to do is it'll say like it'll be like it will not be running because it actually needs to restart. But then just hit start. There you go. There's set time resolution service for you guys. It is automatically set up. If you guys are interested, maybe I'll actually set a script for you guys. If you just throw it in your C drive, it'll work. All right, little update for you guys. I actually just made a little script for you guys. So all you got to do is just... Literally, I'll throw this in a Google Drive. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. But basically, all you do is throw this folder right here into your C drive. And all you need to do is, oh, let me just control C. And you'll see it double click it. And then there you go. If you can also edit it, if you can see just two little things. And then next thing you check your services. So services.msc. And then set timer resolution service and you'll see it will be it will be stop it will, you need to actually start it or just restart your pc and then now you're good you're good to go it will automatically have set timer resolution service for you guys so if you guys are interested in that just let me know i might do that for you guys but yeah let's conclude the video 
if you guys did enjoy that video, hit the like button, subscribe. We got a bunch of new FPS stuff. I'll be testing a lot of things, kind of just to work on what really helps FPS, fully testing it for you guys. Um, I have a bunch of cool videos um, like in my brain that I need to work on, but yeah. Uh, join the Discord. We can talk about this stuff. Show your FPS. Get more FPS. You don't get more FPS from joining the Discord, but you get it if you like learn in the Discord. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. See you guys.